Prior to his appearance on WWE SmackDown this past Friday, The Rock grabbed headlines by appearing on the Pat McAfee show and revealing that a match between him and Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 39 had been locked in before things fell through. He further raised eyebrows by stating the match could still happen next year at WrestleMania 40. While seemingly uncontroversial, Rock's remarks caught the ire of busted open host Dave LaGreca, who stunned co-hosts Bully Ray and Mark Henry by launching into a tirade against the wrestling legend and Hollywood star. Why? Why in God's name would The Rock make the comments that he did on Pat McAfee's show? The match between The Rock and Roman didn't happen at WrestleMania 39. For whatever reason, it didn't happen. But why mention that? Why say yeah. that? Because that just kills what we did see at WrestleMania 39. Now the WWE, excuse me, Rock, but it's not all about you, Mr. Movie Star. They actually built a story that the fans are invested in. And they actually have somebody that they love in Cody Rhodes. Rhodes was defeated by the undisputed WWE Universal Champion Reigns in the main event of WrestleMania 39 falling short in the American Nightmare's mission to finish the story. LaGreca thinks The Rock's recent comments cast that match, Rhodes, and even WWE itself in a bad light. I'm sorry guys, you may think differently. I think The Rock spread open his cheeks and shit all over it. Why? Because he said that the match was supposed to be his at WrestleMania 39, and who knows? Maybe it could happen at WrestleMania 40. I'm sorry, Rock. But from my eyes, The Rock was completely disrespectful to the business of the WWE and completely disrespectful to Cody Rhodes. I'm saying it now. You are disrespectful to the business of the WWE by what you said on Pat McAfee's show. And you're disrespectful to Cody that I'm a fan of and millions of people are fans of. The business didn't happen. Get over it. Move on. Meanwhile... Whilst this isn't the first time he's said something along these lines, Larry Zbyszko's recent claim that he was the mastermind behind the NWO storyline has seemed to ruffle some feathers. Eric Bischoff was to respond to Zbyszko's statement, kindly refuting the idea that Zbyszko had anything to do with the creative direction of the famous WCW stable. Though he did credit Zbyszko for indirectly naming the group, and that Zbyszko's main creative pitches back then revolved around a return to the ring for him. On the latest episode of Click This, NWO founding member Kevin Nash was informed of Zbyszko's recent remarks. Like Bischoff, Nash was quick to refute the idea that Zbyszko was involved in the NWO storyline. Unlike Bischoff, he wasn't as kind to Zbyszko. Nash said, That's the first I've heard of it. I call bullshit. It's crazy because the only persons I've ever had a conversation with was Eric and Kevin Sullivan. You know what though? Eric Bischoff says it best. You ask five people who are in the room, and you will get five completely different stories. Despite denying Zbyszko's claims, Nash, like Bischoff, noted that he always got along with the living legend, and overall had no problem with him. He also pointed out that Zbyszko got along quite well with Nash's outsider's partner and fellow NWO founder, Scott Hall, who feuded with Zbyszko starting in late 1997, with Zbyszko defeating Hall by disqualification at WCW NWO Sold Out in January 1998. As of this recording, Zbysko hasn't responded to either Bischoff or Nash's denials regarding his remarks.